ocean blue Won't land in sight to stubborn Got me home from where I roam Sailing sister little village. Wow, looks like the people live inside the mountain. I'm sure that's what they do. They all live in out and they've just built a facade in front of it. And their little fishing boats. How do they get there? Okay, so we've been sailing since about 8 o'clock this morning. It is now almost 8 o'clock in the evening, 12 hours later. And we are approaching our last port of call on the island of La Palma. And it is Porto de la Cruz. We've got about 45 minutes to go get there. This is Sisu, we're looking for Santa Cruz Marina. La Palma, Santa Cruz Marina. There's two islands and they've two got ports with the same name, Santa de la Cruz. And I, we think the wrong island answered us now. La Palma, Santa Cruz, La Palma, Santa Cruz. This is sailing vessel Sisu, Sisu over. Okay. Uh, La Palma, this is Sisu. We're looking for a berth at the marina, at the Santa Cruz Marina. Yeah, you're calling to Marina La Palma. Yes, I'm calling the marina at Santa Cruz. How colorful! Absolutely. Stunning. We arrived here in Marina. Hey, hey, I stand with <laughs> what? Not so. <laughs> we arrived here at. Uh, it's a little bit 
tricky. It's La Palma Island, Santa Cruz with La Palma Marina. La Palma Marina, yeah. It's a little bit tricky because we called Santa Cruz Marina and it didn't work. <laughs> And the guy was telling us no, there's no Santa Cruz Marina, there's La Palma Marina and we was called La Palma Marina. So, so we call yeah, so, <laughs> so we have to call La Palma Marina. Marina. La Palma Marina. And uh, our Spanish is not that good. So, so we called and the same guy answered again. And the same guy answered <laughs> and here we are. So Sisu is in the background. And it's, it's crazy to come between the huge container ships and there's even like fairies docking here and things like that. Monster fairies. Monster <laughs> fairies, yeah. But, but a, it's a cute little neat little marina. Yeah, and we actually, we sailed right into a live entertainment show here. <laughs> at um, at this, this little La Morena. <laughs> and the ablution facilities is great and oh, yeah. lovely hot nice shower ablution. and washed hair and all that. So we're gonna go explore the town now. Now we need to go to town, so let's go to town. <laughs> Lana. And did we get a surprise sitting here logging into the Yeah, one of your followers just uh, messaged us on Messenger to say, Oh, are we here? <laughs> in Santa de la Cruz, in La, la Palma. On La Palma yes, Island. <laughs> and and they have a Wi Fi connection that's, that was. Sisu, Sisu Wi-Fi. Yeah. Wi <laughs> Scary stuff. <laughs> and then the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, and that this moment in Netherlands. You cannot, but you can't hide. The main thing for these people, these followers, picked us up. We are like three minutes away from them in the marina. Yeah, it's a very beautiful Lagoon 45. And then the two, we have neighbors, but they in the Netherlands, we have like the two. Awesome. 
cuando hablo Aldea. Aldea. The meat that they just put onto the plate is coming actually from this thing over here. Um, this is a very word. Piece of dough. Oh. Which tastes like a hot piece of dough. <laughs> 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 Our leech line seems like the stitching on top got <laughs> somehow got un, un, unstitched. You can just keep on pulling it, which is not <laughs> helping if you want to tighten the leech. So what this line is for, this leech line, is that if if this sail is laughing too much because this this is now maybe stretching or something like that, then we need to pull this line inside and normally a working leech will be actually tied or stitched like this, stitch on top. Then you tighten this one and like say you're closing the 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 laugh. So it's not laughing anymore, but now we cannot do that anymore. So we're going to send Peter up to fix this. So first what we need to do is we need to put the wire puller inside. And then I'll try to tighten, put this on here and then Peter will pull it back. <laughs> it's going to be fun. So we're going to use the main halyard <coughs> to hoist Peter up. And this is because the main alert is very good two to one purchase. So this one will the winches will be very happy with this. But as a backup, we're going to put the spinnaker alert on here as well. So first you have to make sure that the main alert is out of the lazy jacks and on this side of the spreader and the shrouds and everything. And then also the Spinnacle area is also free of anything up there. Then we're going to tighten this. I think we're going to do it like this. So that if that one breaks, then we have another one here. Hopefully, <laughs> so Pietro will not come tumbling down. Okay, this is it. So we've got now two lines. We're going to use this one the main alert as a, as, a, as a main hoist and this one as a backup. Okay, ready. Is your right? So, when you when net screen begin to look, then look for me and why you are I stop? <laughs> so, <laughs> Peter is there all the way on top trying now to find out where the, the leech line need to go in. And since it was still stitched, I think I just missed stitch the, the line. But now that seam is closed, so she needs to open it up. And I'm on top of the mast. <laughs> I'm supposed to stick 
this wire thing down here but it's all sewn up so I don't know I then need to put the wire puller in hmm. tough go <laughs> I wanted to fly the drone, I connected it up, uh, all the phones and the remotes and even at everything switched on and as I came out of the saloon I saw this very low flying aircraft coming over and I realized I cannot fly the drone. Interesting though is that the drone also was saying we are in a no-fly zone. It's quite cool. I like that that they do these restrictions because it's just really crazy to to fly drones near airplanes. Not a very good anchorage. Um, we might find sand somewhere, but there was actually a, when I dived there was no sand, so we're only using the sheer weight of the chain and the anchor and of course we've got also the anchor watch going and the reason why we're here is because there's no wind for the next day and we want to go to oh you cannot see the island but we want to go to that island over there uh, Gomera and Tenerife is over there which you also cannot see now hmm, yesterday we could see them very clearly so they're about 40 miles in that direction over there. But we chose this spot because of the volcanic islands. Um, it's, a, it's a very sheer drop from, from the shore to actually the sea, maybe not even 20 meters away from the coastline or where the waves is breaking against the rocks is already something like 40 meters and in a little bit further it's 80 meters and in it, it goes fast to a thousand meters very fast so no joy in finding good anchorage spots especially with sand because most of it is rocks so we kind of got used to the rocky thing as long as there's just no wind and as long as as we have all our anchor watches set what a super super awesome Sunset. Look at that moon. There's Tenerife and that is La Gomera is where we're going tomorrow.